have a really good think, because somebody you know could earn you a lot of money for very little effort. Think, who do you know that wants to buy a property in Spain? A colleague, a mate, someone in your family, a friend of a friend? If you know someone, go to welcome-estates.com and click the Refer a Friend link. If they buy, you'll pocket a nice chunky thank you from one of Spain's leading estate agents. T's and C's apply. All details at welcome-estates.com. How's it? How are we doing? Big P here. Biggest cup in sport. Just on my way through to Manchester today. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get uh, some characters on channel. I don't know who, but we'll see if we can pull it off, eh? All right. So we have a good watch of this video. Don't Average forget to share it on your pals. What? Average speed checks. There's always some checks in that. Whatever you go. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that's about it. So well, let's see what we can get, footage we can get today. And let's just test ourselves going out with the camera and uh, see what's what. Alright. We're just going to roll up on people today in Manchester at the gyms. Let's see what we can bump into. Alright. Soon, I may be calling in a village near you. <laughs> Entering average speed check zone. Story of my life. Speed check zone. Is this what it's all about? Peace out. Hello all you uh, hardcore diet fans out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner. Biggest gob in sport. I'm only joined by Gary in Manchester today. How's it going, Gary? Well, from where we were last time, Russ, um, in a cafe when I had my big scran. Yeah. And I, I must, I have to say, I was about to give up. Was that the last supper, Gary? Nearly. Well, it was. Um, but then from there, I just, I decided I need to fast more. Yeah. I need to get in more into practicing what I preached. Yeah. Because if you remember, right at the very beginning, the very first video that we ever did, we talked about not eating. Yeah. And then we went off it. By the time we got to episode 13, you'd had enough. Well, that's because I've gone in, round, out, round, about, everywhere, which way you can go. Um, but still, even though I, I preached in that very first video to stop eating, I automatically went into autopilot, what everybody does, about eating the right stuff, what to eat, and I nearly gave up because I'd, I'd actually kidded myself that I'd done everything I could to get this weight off and I couldn't do it. And the reality is they hadn't because intermittently all the time I'm back to eating. Eating healthy, of course, but eating. And the only way that I've managed to do it now and I'm back on course is to stop eating. Yeah. You know? Because you can't eat your way into weight loss, nutrition or not. You can't exercise your way into weight loss, exercising or not. Yeah, but you can stop eating and you don't have to train and you don't have to eat healthy to stop eating and that's what I've done um, I know we can't put the video out but I'm following fasting videos now yeah and they are the answer the real answer is fasting yeah and and the guy I'm following Dr. Egg, Eckberg I think it's called um, it's a great video um, and he talks about um, everybody in life and I've just been doing it for four months still is filling up the pantry or filling up the fridge with food everybody's been taught eat healthy yeah. you know fill your fridge up with eggs tomatoes vegetables fill it up load it up the bottom line is I did that 
and all the way through you heard me talking to you every day saying well look what's going wrong here the you fridge is full of good stuff yeah i know we're full of good stuff but you think that you might have been having big portions gary well we talked about that didn't we yeah, i yeah. need to cut the portions down but you know what the reality the reality is russ what don't cut the portions down stop eating mm. the only way i've got a bit of weight off now i'm close to 16 stone into my 15s where i want to be and back on course is by not eating not thinking about what to eat even portion size no it gets easy because everybody fills the pantry up and continues filling the pantry up continues filling the fridge up with healthy stuff no 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 but they never empty it so i've never, noticed that yeah they never ever give the body as in the pantry chance to empty out right now this guy on this video ek 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 berg right i think that was his name and he talks about the need to empty the fridge yeah I'll just just, keep just eat up. what's in the fridge and empty all out and then just go start because afresh you know what happens once what? you get into this fasting russ and what's happened to you or you don't want to eat no or not knowingly right but once you're fasting your recycling team comes out yeah and the recycling team's looking for food because he's run out of sugar because you're not putting it in and then it starts clearing out all your veins all your arteries all your clog right looking for protein because it'll, it don't want to take your muscles out so it'll look for protein yeah. and that is when you're at your most healthiest that is when you're in ketosis for all these people that talk about being on a, a keto diet all keto diet is is starve yourself and then your body starts producing ketones and when your body's producing ketones that's when you're in your healthiest state mm. don't need to train don't need to do anything to lose weight except stop eating now i'm mm. not advocating this for somebody who's got no weight on him mm. i'm talking about people that have got fat stores I'm talking about people where the body's in heaven when it's emptying the larder out emptying the fridge yeah. in them fat stores and that's how i'm back on track by going back to our very first video it's about not what you eat mm. it's not about how much training you do just stop eating mm. yeah calorie deficit we talked about it right at the beginning mm. stop eating and you'll lose weight it's that simple now i know look i'm into my golf right and i know you've brought this round here to me and you want me to do this don't you you want me to get on the bag yeah, every just day keep, just keep throwing someone just yeah. have a, it's only to work a sweater but you're not yeah. going to fight for the title well, are you the point that i'm saying mm. is i don't want to make everybody think that that is going to get you any weight off no no you're still, I, you're I still know, going to eat properly i know what you? you're talking about a boxer it can get four or five pounds off by I meant, I, what I meant by it Gary is I thought it might kick start your metabolism in the morning before you have some breakfast well we have we have started jogging doing a, the odd jogs here and there but mm. don't want to confuse people right it's not about the jogging it's not about that it's about stopping eating yeah I you stop eating and you look look put a fattest man in the world in a room who says he can't lose any weight and take food away from him for a week is he going to lose weight yes it might not in the first week. If he does though. that all week, but he's still fucking eating. Is he, is he going to lose weight? No. No, he's not. He's not that is a fallacy. People get hung up on that. Why is that on all the time? It's on all the time because people want to sell gym memberships. Why? Why are they talking about what to put in the fridge all the time? I don't know. Because the food companies want to sell food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they course. sell it's great to eat tomatoes it's great to eat eggs it's great to have vegetables i've had my larder full of all that kind of stuff for the last two years and i already told you i plateaued at 69 yeah because even healthy food has got calories in it and yeah. if you only need 1500 a day and you're eating 1800 a day in healthy food you're gonna lose any weight are you yeah because you're putting that might that might take 300 off and you still won't lose any weight the best thing to do is don't eat anything, zero calories. Won't take you many days then to lose weight, will it? No. And that's not. how you've come down from 28 stone. Yeah. Starvation. It's the only way to do it. Yeah. I'm back on track. 
by starving myself but I'll tell you this I said right at the beginning in video one stop eating calorie deficit Same so what, what how could. did we go off track then Gary with you you know your mind because did your I mindset went, go I went off? where everybody goes yeah I went to healthy eating yeah I went to filling my fridge with nutritional stuff I went to following all these videos of what to eat the problem is it's not about what to eat your body is in heaven not eating if you're fat yeah it goes into your fat stores and goes wow what a wonderful place I'm in yeah, it's like a kid everything. in a sweet shop, isn't it, Gary? It's got everything. It has got everything. So mm. stop eating and your body has to go there. And that's when the recycling team comes out. That's when all the benefits come. Because it's not just about weight loss. If you can get into fasting, your body's then into recycling. Yeah. You know, and it, and it starts clearing all your tubes out and that's where all your benefits come from. Yeah. Whereas when the larder's full all the time, it's just clogged up all the time. You never give it a chance to empty. Yeah, I agree. I'm giving my body a chance to empty and it's amazing and it's not easy. And why have I struggled for the last four months? Because I already knew the answer, didn't I? Yeah. But I couldn't do it. Yeah. Couldn't do it. And I've had to now put... A, you know when you're a kid at school and what do you say as parents? Effort. Yeah. As long as you put the effort, put effort in, in. You put the effort, the best effort you can in, that's as good as you can do. All you can do is your best. I thought I'd put the, my best effort in and I was nearly giving up when I had that full English the other day. And that's after weeks and months and months of trying to do this right. Trying to eat healthy, trying to follow... So what I right then, months ago, Gary? What do you mean? We're in, we're in intermittent fasting. Absolutely, but mm. even, even, it is about intermittent fasting, I mean... Oh, it's still the same thing, isn't it? You're skipping meals, aren't you're you? are skipping meals. I mean, I mean, I mean, you've got people that talk about... Uh, you, the very beginning, it's 16-8. Um, yeah, go on. 16 stone 8, wasn't it, yeah? No, well, it's not. 16 hours um, and 8 hours. In, in, in other words, fasting for 16 hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And then, ideally, get... And really, you can easily do that by... Um, don't eat your breakfast so if you've gone to bed at I don't know 10 o'clock and you get up at 10 o'clock that's 12 hours yeah. if you don't eat your breakfast and you get to 2 o'clock you've done 16 hours haven't you yeah. if you get to 6 o'clock you've done 20 hours mm. and if you get back to 8 o'clock you've done 24 hours what hour are you struggling at when you take it when you put is it about 16 hours in the beginning you're thinking about your breakfast because it's autopilot isn't it yeah. at lunch time you're thinking about your dinner the devil's come out but what I say now, but what I'm finding is helping me is because I know my recycling team comes out to make me healthy and fit and I feel great even though I'm not putting anything in my body. The recycling team comes out and kills them devils we talked about. Them I, devil on your shoulder, yeah. yeah them yeah. devils that are coming consistently. But I have to say, the more you tackle it head on, the more you stop eating and you fight that, then like, like now, for example, I mean, I, I'm quite regular. I've just been away. I've played golf. Yeah? yeah. The week before, I went to Spain. Yeah. Right. And I'm still slowly, still taking the weight off. If I get on a good run mm. now by not eating, and and I and I, I'm now, and I, and I told you this on the last video, I think I did two OMADs. OMAD equals one meal a day and a 72 hour fast in between and I still never lost any weight. Now, that's because I've plateaued and it's stuck like glue. But only if I'm maintaining and keeping at it, and I'm on regular OMAD now, one meal a day. And I've just been away, like I say, to Spain last week and golfing this week, but I'm OMADing every day. But by the time I get to tea time, night time, right, I'm having what I want. Yeah. So what uh, meal are you having one day, one meal? Any, do you know something? What time do you have it? Do you know something? I, again, I go back to the, the YouTube video, Dr. Eggberg, anybody that wants to watch it is. Is he called Eggberg, John? Eggberg. E-K. Eggberg. Not, not egg. Eck. E-K. E-K. Eggberg. B-E-R-G. Dr. Yeah. Eggberg. Yeah. Watch that. You've only got to watch that video that, that he does about, about fasting. 
and it'll tell you everything about how to fast the recycling team coming out the empty in the lard they're giving your body a chance but what i'm finding right if for my effort i get a reward i get to after tea time now i can i'm not bothering about what i eat anymore i've lost this nutritional food you're just eating what you want now because for that one meal i fancy fish chips and curry oh, i'm having fish chips and curry fish chips and curry yeah yeah, yeah what about peas, mushy peas oh, mushy pea, bread yeah. And butter. yeah oh bread look what dr eckberg tells you is in one meal you can't do too much damage yeah if you're only having that one meal in a day calories have what you want yeah but do you know what the good thing is for me and you've said it my problem over the last four or five months i'm a socializer yeah right i've got too many holidays too many reasons to go out on business too many boxing functions to go to i can't get away from that but do you know something i'm starting to believe now it doesn't matter because if i've put the effort in during the you're day, allowed to treat i can do what i want yeah i can go out and have four pints and put in chips peas and gravy and two six, rounds of red six and pints of guinness and black right. and don't carry so, so i'll do this but i am going to do this yeah because i do think it will help yeah. well i'm not a boxer you know? so but I, i'm not going to use gloves this is this is watching people try and get a work i would have thought all you'd have to do gary is just just do what mayweather does he does that doesn't he he just does that and just keep doing it yeah you might not it, think no signing but eventually you're exercising what, and you're getting what, a sweat up aren't what, you what i like i would rather what do i know I end up on Beatles about this, Gary. Well, it went <laughs> over, but I'm into golf. You know, I'll go running, I'll go and have a jog with John. But only because we're talking business. Only because yeah. I'm doing it in the course of what I'm doing. So anything in yeah. the course of what I'm doing, I'll do. And I'll tell you what I use that for. I take my kids to my grandchildren to Chadit and Boxing. They've both got boxing clubs. And I will have some fun with this, and I'll do boxing. What in garden with kids? With kids. Yeah, yeah when they've got come. your gloves. And they've got my own gloves. Well, what you now. do, you all get your gloves on and you all take it in turns. You say, right, there's a job, and then what, the other one does it. What and you rotate them. What competition can I have with the kids? What would you say? Well, you could get them to see, time them to see who could hit. One, two, three. Do all the numbers and see who can hit them all with both hands. So you're going like one, two, three. Just, it just keeps so matching, doesn't it? One. Three, four. That's it, yeah. It's just that you can interact with your grandkids with your cards. Oh, yeah, I'll probably knuckle it. I mean, I'm never going to use that, I've no time, but. It's Sparkling John it's now, Sparkling John's coming in. Sparkling John's in now. Uh, hey. If three sevens, he's 21. If three tens, he's 30. Do a bit of maths as well oh, while you're going yeah. along. What is it? He's number 10. One then, John. Up. I don't. Uh, I don't know, I don't really know too, but I, I think I've probably used it, it about a few times. No, you say that's a, uh, that's what? his nuts in it. Wait, if I stand there, yeah, that's a nut short, that, so that's below the belt. <laughs> I really do thank you for that, Russ. And I, will, I will get up and use it, I'm, not, I'm only messy. Don't worry about it. Um, oh, we're going to love it. It's really, um, it's really good. I, John looks like John's Well, when I was 20 odd stud, I, I, I think I first went on it and, uh, my mate John, filmed it, stuck, stuck it on Thank Twitter. You. Look at John, oh, this is supposed sure to be a diet not, video. I'm not sure it's as good as uh, Denny. Look at John. Now John's a soul Dennis food. One, Dennis Hobson one, he was a good move, wasn't he? He was. Dennis is, yeah, Dennis, Dennis is a good fighter. He is a good fighter. I still tell. ripped his head off in, all, in uh, Bulgaria though. Right here. Yeah. No, he bit my arm. You're right. I got him in, I'll tell you what I did, come here. He punched me like that. He goes, what did you call Rami? Oh, yeah. Punch me. He goes, what did you call Rami Russ? I goes, he's a knobhead. And he went, oh yeah. And he went like that. He would punch him in there and I went, oh Dennis, get up. And then I got on him like that. I took him down like the rat he is. Who won then? Who won it? It was a draw. He beat Dennis me, didn't he? It. He beat you know me. He, he got broke up because he beat me. He beat Dennis me. got disqualified. Dennis, did you cheat? No, I'll tell you what happened. Dennis, Dennis, we know you're watching. Dennis uh, bit me, did you? Because I had him like that and he went... I was like that! I well, killed you! Best, mate. How come you're fighting anyway? Because we were drunk. Oh, and uh, well, something happened and, and he's... The Celia, the lawyer, said something about something and I... And Rami, Dennis's mate, laughed and I went... Shut up Rami, you knobhead. 
Dennis says, don't you call him a knob, there's who you talking to you? And what well, Dennis does, he put Stop. shots into you, didn't he? He punched me in, I thought, do you yes. know what? I said, if you ever do that to me again, there's going to be problems. And when he turned away, I went boom. I got straight onto him, Gary. I said, Dennis, he bit me there. I've still got a bite mark, Dennis. It's got a lot to answer for that drink, can't it? Drink? Oh, anyway, drink's terrible. This, is, this Russ is 16 stone one. Yeah, I'm on 11 stone pounds. 13. Go on, what are you? Well, no, I was, one not I? I was um, 16 stone nine when I started. So there's four stone between me and you then, isn't there? Well, three, four stone two. So if you could get another two off, you'd be 14, wouldn't you? I only want to get to 15. 15. If I can get to 15 stone, I'm happy. Yeah? But, yeah. I, well, do you know something? It just depends what this OMAD does. OMAD will take me to another plateau. Hopefully it'll take me to 15. If it takes me to 14 and a half, fine. Cruise away, but, Gary. Well, I'm not. Cruise away, 14, bro. I'm not, not going to go any less than what eating one meal a day will bring me and being able to live life. Yeah, it's important we yeah. can live life as well. And that's why I was nearly giving up. I thought that I'd done everything, and I hadn't. I hadn't done everything. You can only try, can't you? Now I have. One meal a day, maybe that's it for me. Well, my mum and dad only have one meal a day, you know. Easier said than done. For anybody out there who's carrying weight, forget all this what to eat. Forget all this eating healthy. The healthiest you're ever going to be is to get that weight off then you're healthy and the only way you're going to get the weight off is to stop eating. Gary, do you think that as human beings, well I know you agree with, we eat too much, do you feel that that mindset of getting up in the morning and there being baked neck beans, big fry upon the table before you've done anything, that well, mindset's all that in it now? It's the food manufacturers. The food manufacturers are brainwashed us all into eating little and often, eat plenty, eat healthily, eat your sprouts, eat your broccoli, eat all of that, eat, eat, eat your way into losing weight and it's never going to happen if you're eating too much of it, yeah. it's bad because you, you like, you, you, your system's clogged up, Yeah. it's never, you're never going to, never, you're never ever going to lose weight with a clogged up system whether it's full of healthy nutritional food or not, whether you've run 20 mile a day like your pal Carl or whatever. Have you heard? Any of them that's doing all of that exercise, right, is going to do nothing unless they stop eating. It's as simple you as that. Hear that, boys and girls? Just stop you want to lose weight and be slim like me, stop eating. And I'll tell you what, Russ, I'm saying this to you again. There'll be a lot of people out there watching this who've seen me nearly fail, yeah. and I'm back, right? Make sure that if they search, um, diet on your channel that all 13 episodes come up because I would like somebody to watch right from the beginning to watch me go down, watch me come up, watch me go down and I nearly gave up right and I'm back to where I was right at the beginning I knew the answer was to stop eating yeah. all along mm. e easier said than done though yeah. easier said than done it is right. hard Unless you've got the mental strength for it, you're always going to be fat. 16 stone one, he finally did it! Didn't you? you got below 16 four, I'm proud of you! And I'm going to be in my 15s. I'll take my bag back now. This time next week. Mind what? you, a lot of turkey, so maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> I've too. got another old up. But the thing is, by doing what I'm doing now, oh my day, every day, one meal a day, it's allowing me the little cheap, so hopefully I'll come back from Turkey and I'll still only be 16 one. But well, if you get on the 16, Gary, I'll be impressed. Um, I will be there. All right, then. Well, listen, you take care, and we'll see you next week for episode 15 on well, Gary's Diet Adventures. Week after, because I'm in Turkey next week. Week after, then. Thank you. Peace out. Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Sight Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.